welcome to Brunel University's Experimental Technique Center. Today, for the very first time, we'll be using a powerful electron microscope, one of only two in the world, to look deep into the operation of a microprocessor as it's working. So let's start the experiment by looking deeply into the microprocessor, my own mobile phone. Have they gone yet? Run! No! Oh, I've got no legs. <laughs> oh, Eddie. You're almost discharged. Seems the professor has forgotten to charge his phone. It seems the professor's brain is so big that he's got no room left in his head for a memory. That's why he needs us to save his messages, call his friends' telephone numbers, and power the lights and sound. Hello? Hello? Hey, knock knock, anybody home? Oh, Eddie. You can't talk to humans. They haven't evolved as quickly as us. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. The young ones are clever. They can understand mobile phones. Hmm? All right. Maybe they can. I really think the professor wants to be our friend. Well, perhaps he does. But then, why has he dropped our phone down the toilet twice? Oh, Eddie. Well, that was exciting. I think we've discovered why some mobile phone batteries run down rather quickly. So, why not come back tomorrow and we look inside an electric motor and see some electrons actually doing some real work. <laughs>